Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 911. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, uh, we, we've got to look back to uh, dual number 107. This is the, the name of the, the video here. That video, Mr. Excel and I came up with two formula solutions to take numbers like this and convert them to numbers like this. Now, the trick is, if it starts with a 3, the original number, we need a leading 0 and a dash at the fifth character mark, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If it was anything that started with a non-3, we need to put a leading 0 and go have a dash as the fourth character. Now, Mr. Excel did this formula here with left, right, and len. And I did this formula with uh, replace text, repeat len, and a bunch of stuff like that. And Schultz Blue and Daniel Juan Dion at YouTube posted some great uh, solutions down in the comments. So here's Schultz Blue. Uh, he said, hey, let's use the replace. We can The replace is a great function because we can look at a number and use it to insert a character. So the old text is this, comma, and now the starting number. Now, I'm just going to start with the number 3 here. And that would work for the numbers that are not starting with 3. Because what do we need to do to replace? You need 1, 2, and it's really the third position that isn't there yet that needs a dash. So you put a 3 there. That's for starting number, comma. And the number of characters, if you want to insert, you say 0, comma. And then the text we want to insert, double quote, dash, double quote. Right, so that's not quite what we want, but that shows you how the insert function works. Now, no problem. It's easy to add a 0 to that. What do we do? 0 and the join symbol ampersand. Now, that won't quite give us what we want, but check this out. That's looking pretty good, much simpler uh, than any of these formulas over here. The only trick is the start number, right? because here it needs to be one, two, three, four, not including the lean zero. Here it is one, two, three. Well, the three works. But is there a way that we can add one to it when it starts with a three and add zero to it when it doesn't start with a three? Let's check this out. How about the left function? I'm going to say the left of this, comma one, right? That gives me the lead number. It's either three or something else. And I'm going to say any time that is equal to, and that will give me true, false, equal to what? Well, if I said 3, it would be a mismatch because this is text and this is number. So you always got to put, uh, in this situation, uh, the number in quotes, right? True. Only a true where it sees a 3 as a leading. All the other ones are false. Well, the thing about trues and falses, if you do any math operation on a statement like that, it will convert it to ones or zeros. So I'm going to copy that in edit mode and come over here. Well, what do we need? It's 3 plus 1 or 0. So I'm simply going to come here. I'm going to say plus, and then we need to paste it inside of parentheses, control V, close parentheses, because this argument right here, we need to use this plus after we do the equal sign. And the order of operations in Excel says equals um, calculated way at the bottom. So we need to put parentheses to force that first. And that'll work. That's a, a Boolean statement that'll give us uh, true or false, or in this case, because we're adding 1 or 0, and boom. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. So simple and to the point. Another approach you could take, uh, Daniel 1 Dion says, well, custom number formatting. I'm going to select all of these and Control-1. So custom, this is not conditional formatting, it's custom number formatting that's going to do something like conditional formatting. So we come down here, all those numbers are highlighted, and you put the condition inside of square brackets. Well, what is it that we have here? Now, this situation, actually, let me click Escape. Up here, I had some other numbers. The example we're going to do here wouldn't work for these uh, smaller numbers. But if you have a situation where you have 10 digits or 9. So any of the numbers with 3 are just adding an extra digit at the front. Otherwise, they're all going to be 9, which this, these numbers here do meet that condition. Then you can use this solution. So Control-1, Custom. And so our condition will be in square brackets. Well, what 
what is the condition? Well, there's either 10 or 9, so I'm going to say less than 10, uh, a 1 and then 9 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Close square brackets. All right, so now we put our two possibilities. So the first possibility will be in double quote 0. In essence, in custom number format, if you put something in double quotes, it's text, and it will just add it to what's ever there. And then if it's less than, which means it's got any sum number besides a leading 3, we put 1, 2, zeros dash, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Semicolon to get to the next condition, our uh, double quote 0, 1, 2, 3, dash, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And there we have our custom uh, number format with a condition. Now I'm going to copy this, because I'm going to do a, a variation on it. But let's just see if this works. Click OK. And sure enough, that works. Now the one difference between these, or this great solution, and this, this number right here, that is an illusion. That's a facade. That's applied with custom number formatting. Look up in the formula bar. That leading 0 and dash are not there. If I click down, the leading 0 and dash are not there. So if there's a situation where you actually need the 0 and the dash in the cell for whatever reason, use your formula. If it's just something you want to look at, then boom. Right? If you were matching this in some sort of lookup or something like that, and the original table had all the characters in the cell, then you definitely want to use your formula solution. But if it's just something you want to look at, boom, custom number formatting. Now you can take this custom number formatting um, one step further and use the text function. I'm going to say text is a way of, in formulas, to apply custom number format and actually convert the number to text. So I'm going to say the value comma and then control V. Remember I pasted it. Now here's the tricky thing. Notice those double quotes. This argument format text requires that this is in double quotes. So the text function needs the custom number format in double quotes. So if you enter that, it's not going to work. No problem. We come here and we have to put two double quotes. So anything inside of here that requires double quotes, we put two of them. And then that will give us our custom number format that will work inside of the text function. Control Enter and then double click and send it down. All right, um, totally awesome. Text condition, uh, custom number formatting over here, custom number formatting, and this great formula here. All right, uh, fun hanging out with the online Excel team. See you next video.